What's up everybody and welcome to the Starbound Let's Play. Now this is an early access game that you can get on Steam right now. And uh, it's been called a Terraria clone, which was also a spin-off of Minecraft but on a side-scrolling. Uh, but this is cool. My brother got it for me for Christmas on Steam. And uh, I've been having some fun with it. And when I first started playing the game... I wasn't like really too sure and I know it's early access so there's not all the features there yet but uh, then I did something actually my son and I were playing this game over the weekend and I, I started to explore into the ground and I'm gonna show you what I mean because this is like Terraria except in space cuz space always makes things more awesome and science and all that stuff so I'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> and uh, see there's my Sorbius character I'm gonna make a new character for you uh, I like human character, that's just the way I am, male, obviously, and I don't do mohawks. So we're going to go ahead and change that to uh, something a little more appropriate for me, you know. And I think I will go with, there you go, just plain Jane. I like the overcoat, uh, some regular old pants, and my personality, it's kind of a cool feature, it's just really the way you stand. So I'm going to be uh, prolific like that. And I am a white dude. There we go. My undie color, it doesn't show you. I have to take the pants off. But uh, my hair color, um, I'll make it like, well, I'll make it my hair color. Why not? Where's the brood? There it is. That's brown. Shirt color, kind of stand out a little bit. And you got to have, well, I'll just wear the blue jeans. And my name is not Gil Scale. It's so obvious, MGI, just because that's what my name is in the Nexus right now. All right, so we're good on that. Let's do this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm going to take you through some of the stuff, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you what I was talking about when I said I went into the ground. Okay, so I have got... Oh, it looks as though I've uh, I've started with uh, with everything that I had. Hmm. Okay, so it's not a new game necessarily, but uh, this is my inventory, and I've got a lot of stuff here. And as you can see, I've got 444 of this, 443 of that. You can carry up to a thousand of something at once. I got a thousand packed dirt, a thousand dirt block. There's a lot of similarities between this and Minecraft. But, um, <clears throat> I kind of wanted to start a new game. I guess it saves uh, globally. Oh, well. So, you're in this spaceship, and this is uh, my wizard guy. He sells stuff to me, like uh, different potions to enhance my, my character and all that. A higher jump and whatnot, health, I believe. So, uh, I'm, out, I'm out in the spaceship. The planet is below me. And I can warp to the planet. There. Yeah. Here we are. So there's my bed that I've crafted. Here's my crafting table. And I've got this really big sword that you don't craft. You just kind of have it from the start. One thing I really do like about this game is the music. Um, I mean, I like music in general, but the music is good. I enjoy it very much. So... You start out on this planet, and I've got my pickaxe here, so I can dig away at the dirt, you know, and all that fun stuff. Very, very reminiscent of Terraria or Minecraft. So there's there's mining involved, and I can dig up the dirt and the stone, and you only get one type of pickaxe that I know of right now, because in the crafting table, let me show you how that works. The crafting table is cool. Because uh, it has all the items you can craft, and it, it highlights them if you have the materials necessary. It tells you what the materials are, unless you craft in a quantity. So right now I could make two crafting tables if I wanted to. And you can do a search on different kinds of items. And... Yeah, there's some stuff I haven't made yet. Oh, that's right, the iron anvil. I forgot to craft that. Nice. Okay, well, let's give this a shot. Uh, one thing I don't really like is that uh, you can only use the WASD keys to uh, navigate. Oh, nice! I can't... Ah, here we go. See, I didn't even know about this. I forgot to craft the anvil. So now I can make all this cool stuff. We got iron block, 
Iron Axe, Regular Broadsword, Shanker, we got Basic Spear, Hunting Knife, oh yeah, this is nice. Ah, uh, here we go. Armor! This is what I've needed. <laughs> I have really needed this because I keep being killed when I go down into the caves and I'm going to show you what I mean in a minute. That's awesome. Let's craft some of these, shall we? Got one of these. I got the copper helmet. Okay, I can't do a chest plate now. I don't have enough copper, but I... Oh, nice! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> He's got some goofy goggles. All right. Uh, I, I have... Uh, Let's do. I need a furnace. You can search this too. Stone furnace. Oh, I need a campfire. That's right. Okay, we'll go back here. Get rid of this search. Oh, and it's raining. Why does it always rain in these games, man? It's annoying. And the rain puts your torches and crap out in this one too. A little more realistic, but still. Notch. Do you hear me? <laughs> this is not even a Mojang game, but you know I have to. Where's okay? Where's the where, uh, campfire? Campfire, I have no torches. I can't even make torches because I have no coal. Man, we're really, oh, we're really doing bad. All right, so the first thing is I'm going to go down here, and I'm pretty sure I've left some coal um, down here somewhere. Oh, that's poison. I don't want to do that. I don't want what you're selling, poison. Yeah, that green stuff is poison. It's not good. But, yeah, design flaw. You can only use the WAS keys to move around. Uh, no. Any game, any game, if you're going to do something like this, you got to have both WASD and Arrow. That has to happen. But, uh, I know I left some coal down here. And I, I don't have a, a navigation, like, coordinates or anything, but I just want you to observe as I do this just how far down I go. Because it, it's ridiculous how deep... I, I haven't found the bottom yet, and I've played this for hours. Hours, and I haven't found the bottom of these caves yet. It's unbelievable. I don't have any torches, do I? No, I don't even... Oh, I did... Oh, I had furnaces in my inventory! Ha! Alright, so... What that means... Is we're gonna have to go back up. I'm noob tubing, by the way. <laughs> I had a furnace. So let's go back up to the surface. And it's still raining. Why is it raining? I got torch spam right here. I don't really think I need all those. There we go. Try to conserve these because I. Until I find the coal. Oh crap! No! Die! Sword! <laughs> you can't get me because I'm going to win! No, I'm not! I'm going to. Die. And now I'm going to go into my regeneration chamber. This is kind of cool how it regens you. Technically, that's one way back to the system. Oh, but he's naked! He's sitting in boxer shorts. Which are apparently are red now, I know that. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and, uh. Get one of these furnaces here. There we go. Now put these on my character. Very nice. Take my pants off. Apparently, that was considered armor. And we will place down the furnace. But I'm not gonna do it there. I'm gonna do it here because. Otherwise, if it gets rained on, it'll go out. And let's... Did I, did I smelt all my stuff? Maybe I did. I guess I did. I gotta go get more copper. But uh, there's lots of copper down there, man. And I do mean lots of copper. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I do... Ooh, I can make some, stuff, some of this stuff, though. Let's see. Werpens. Okay, iron axe, regular broadsword, let's, okay, damage per swing, six, for four. Now the sword I have is three, so that is an upgrade. Now what about the regular short sword, DPS seven, shanker, DPS three, basic spear, ooh, yeah, but that's a long range weapon. Oh, I can make a diamond pickaxe! Nice! You need a platinum pickaxe, though. Well, wait, how do I get a platinum pickaxe? Okay, silver, platinum, requires a gold pick. Oh, I see how the scaling system works. Oh, you need a lot of money for that. I have the diamond. I actually did find diamonds in this, in this already. Scavenger's Greaves. Oh, this is sweet. How about food? Nothing in there yet. But I can make more armor. 
and I can scale my weapon. So that's awesome. That's a good thing. Alright. Looks like we're going copper digging. Now, I'm gonna, before I end this part of the episode, I'm gonna just show you how ridiculous this cave. Ah, oh, of course I get poisoned. I'm gonna show you how ridiculous this cave is. I haven't found the bottom yet, and I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing. So let's go down here to where I was. I did build kind of a, a way down here earlier. Gotta dig this up. Dig that down. Oh, hey, guys. Let's use my bow and auto. Okay, these guys are obviously hostile. I don't want what you're selling, salesman. Go away. No. Haha. <laughs> I win that battle. Ah, uh, here's something I need. This is important right here. Where's my axe? This stuff. You gotta dig up these vines and you can make bandages. And boy, does that help. Oh, how was I po- Oh, of course I was poisoned. There's a guy over there. Yeah, I got ten. You, make, you use the bandages to make, uh, to regen your health. You can also sleep in a bed, which also regens your health. Notch, do you hear me? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... Uh, torch? Do I have any torches? I do. Okay, I'm gonna put one right there. You have this thing, man man er, uh, matter manipulator, also, which is like how you originally get rid of these these things. But uh, I don't need that. I'm gonna keep my sword out in case I run into anything ominous. Oh, there's coal right there. Oh, now this is passive guy. Some of these enemies are passive, which is a good thing. So let's go down here and okay. Now we're down like. You see how far down I've dropped already, and I'm still, like, down here, there's, like, this is, like, tar or mud or something. It doesn't hurt you, but you can suffocate and drown. And it's, we're so far down, even the music stops playing. Oh, there's some coal right there, isn't there? Well, I do need it. I don't want to drown in the process. Yay, coal! Yeah, it's like water, but it's not. Okay, and I built this earlier because look at how open this is. Like, it doesn't even... Okay, there's my torches. It doesn't even, like... It's just... <laughs> oh, there's two layers, as I showed you before. I can take the pickaxe and right-click and actually hit the, the layer behind me, which is kind of cool, because in the top layers, you can actually drain water on the other, like, on the back side of the level. It's, it's neat. I like how they did that. Oh, hey. Okay, you look passive. Are you? Okay. Just passing through, don't mind me. And now we go down here. And, and, all right, here we go. I built a little bit of a, a thing down here, as you can see, and there's copper right there. I told you I had it, but I'm going to do a little sleeping in the bed to, because that restores health. So, yeah, this is a cool game, and the coolest part of this for me right now is how ridiculously deep the earth is. Like, you see how far down? I must have gone down 500 blocks already, and there's still a lot more that I haven't even shown you. And, uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty incredible. So, I'm going to stop it here. I think you've got your feel for today of Starbound. And in the next video, I'm actually going to try to get some of these resources up and, and get better, uh, better armor and, uh, weapons and, uh, pickaxes. Because I have a feeling that because the diamond pickaxe is so ridiculous to make, that it's just unbelievable when it comes to mining. So that's going to be one of the goals I'm going to set, is to craft the diamond pickaxe. I want to see what it does. And also, there's what, there's a quest that I can't do because I didn't know about uh, all this stuff. I have to build up my armor and weaponry because uh, you get to summon this spaceship and you have to defeat it in order to get to the next, the next quest set. So uh, that's also on the to-do list. So, I thank you so very much for watching, and in the next video, I will continue this epic excursion to beat Starbound. So, I'll see you then. Oh, yeah.